वेलकम माय डियर लर्नर्स फॉर दिस कोर्स ऑन इंजीनियरिंग ग्राफिक्स इन दिस मॉड्यूल फोर वी आर डिस्कसिंग ऑन डेवलपमेंट ऑफ लैटरल सरफेसेस ऑफ सॉलिड्स सो फार वी हैव सॉल्व्ड 13 प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन डेवलपमेंट मूविंग अहेड द प्रॉब्लम नंबर 14 ऑफ आवर डिस्कशन स्टेट्स दैट अ राइट कोन ऑफ 55 एमएम डायमीटर ऑफ बेस एंड 75 एमएम हाइट स्टैंड्स ऑन इट्स बेस ऑन एचपी इट इज कट टू द शेप ऑफ अ ट्रंकेटेड कोन विद इट्स ट्रंकेटेड सरफेस इंक्लाइन एट 45 डिग्रीज टू द एक्सिस लाइंग एट अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ 40 एमएम फ्रॉम द अपेक्स ऑफ द कोन obtain the development of the lateral surface of the truncated cone is the question asked first let us draw the front and top view of cone so top view of cone and front view of cone is known for us top view of a cone is a circle and front view of a cone is a triangle so let us mark this as x and y this as vp this as hp the cone as 55 mm diameter so diameter is 55 let me take a reference to draw that so measure radius of 27.5 27.5 diameter of 55 measure 27.5 draw a circle drawn now take the projection and draw the front view take the projection and draw the front view so if i draw the front view we know how much is the height of the axis axis height is 75 mm so lay down the axis height which is 75 mm drawn 75 mm axis length now from the corners connect to the apex so connect to the apex from the corners done so this height is known which is specified as 75 mm the site is known which is specified as 75 mm and this diameter is given as 55 mark the diameter as 55 specified marked right now i want the slant height first slant generator slant generator is measuring mm 80 mm slant generator is measuring 80 mm slant generator is measuring 80 mm mark it slant generator is measuring 80 mm done now insert the cutting plane cutting plane is at distance of 40 mm from apex measure 40 mm from apex measure 40 mm from apex so from apex i have measured 40 mm done now cutting plane is making an angle of 45 degrees to the axis means it is 45 degrees to the base also 45 degrees so 45 degrees to the axis which means 45 degrees to the base now insert the cutting plane so i'm drawing the cutting plane which is at an angle of 45 degrees to the axis so this is at an angle of 45 degrees so this bottom portion will be retained and top portion will be removed this bottom portion will be retained and top portion will be removed
so this is what we have now since the development of a cone is a smooth curve smooth surface i cannot draw free ends curve for smooth sketch and angle will be equal to 27.5 by 80 into 360 so for that length i, I cannot draw the smooth curve so therefore let me develop by using eight points that is divide this into eight equal halves so if i divide this into eight equal halves that is measure 45 degrees on all sides 45 from here also you measure 45 so divide into eight equal parts here also you divide it into 45 degrees 45 degrees and mark this as a b c d e f and g now take the projection here also you take the projection and connect to the apex very thin line you can draw because these are imaginary for our reference there are no slant edges in cone we have only slant generator for a cone we don't have slant edges for a cone keep that in mind now this will be a dash this will be b dash g dash sorry a b c d e f g and h so this should be h dash invisible here we have c dash g dash o and o1 dash here we have o dash here i'll get d dash and f dash here i'll get e dash right now a to o mark it as point number 1 b to o mark it as point number 2 c to o mark it as point number 3 d to o is 4 and e to o is 5 again f is 6 g is 7 and h is 8 is it clear A to O is one, B to O is two, C to O is three, D to O is four, E to O is five. Again, F to O is six, G to O is seven, H to O is eight. So transfer all these points to the slant generator. This is very very important. We should make use of slant generator in case of cone, slant edge in case of pyramid. Correct. Slant edge for pyramid, slant generator is for cone. Transfer all these points. to transfer all these points to slant generator so this is 1 this is 2 comma 8 and this is 3 comma 7 and this is 4 comma 6 and this is 5 done now calculate the angle how much is the angle theta theta is base radius by slant generator length into 360 degree so theta will be equal to radius is 27.5 slant generator length is 80 into 360 degree so theta will be equal to that is we have radius is 27.5 slant height is 80 into 360 which is equal to 123.75 let me take it as 124 degrees now divide this into 8 equal halves 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 divided by 8 will gives us 15.4 or 123.75 by 8 15.5. So each of I want eight divisions of 15.46 or 15.5 degrees. Let me do that. 
because I divided into 8. So divide the calculated angle into 8 halves. So that is 124 by 8 will be equal to 15.5. 124 by 8 is 15.5. So now first let me fix a point. Let me fix a point and call it as O and lay down the slant generator length. How much is the slant generator length? 80. So measure mark 80. Mark 80. Mark, mark the length of 80. This is slant generator length is equal to 80 mm. I have marked. Now measure the angle. Angle is 124. 8 divisions of 15.5. 8 divisions of 15.5 let me mark 15.5 each 30.1 40 6 46.5 60.2 77.5 77.5 93 93 105.3 is 108.3 108.5 Next directly I will get 124 Correct Now you mark again the length which is equal to 80 mm. Done. Now lay down the curve for this one. Lay down the curve for this one. Since length is too large, I am finding it difficult. So let me draw a free end sketch. Done. So draw the curve. Now connect these lines. At this angle, you draw smooth lines. You draw smooth lines of 8 equal halves. 124 by 8 we have done. Draw smooth lines and very thin lines smooth and very thin lines drawn and mark them as A B C D E F G H and E now again using compass now using compass you measure and transfer from the apex mark 1 so 1 is here you transfer 1 on A and A transfer 1 so this is 1 and then we have 2 and 8 2 and 8 always measure on the slant generator this also slant generator that's why I measured 1 here actually you can measure here both are same but 2 is not same so measure on the slant generator 2 and 8 2 and 8 2 and 8 done next 3 and 7 3 and 7 transfer 3 and 7 next we have 4 and 6 transfer 4 and 6 4 6 and finally we have 5 all are measured from the slant generator now join smooth curve 
so draw smooth curve passing through this arcs what we have drawn that will gives us the development so this is the development of don't dark this one because these are only for our for our convenience to draw the smooth curve there are no slant edges in case of cone there is only smooth surface so this is the development required development of truncated portion of the cone so this is the development and this angle is drawn for 124 degrees each of which measures 15.5 degree 15.5 degree each so this is how we should solve problems on truncated cone so this is the solution for problem number 14 that's all from this lecture thank you all